Welcome back, Thor Conklin here. For the last 16 years, I've been an entrepreneur. I've had great businesses and I've had not so great businesses. I've had success and I've had failure. And people come to me all the time, clients, prospects, and they say, Thor, make me a great entrepreneur. And I said, are you really willing to put in the work that it's gonna take? Yes, absolutely, make me a great entrepreneur, make me a great business leader. And I said, look, in order to be a great business leader, a great entrepreneur, or great in anything, you need to have adversity. You know, it's funny how life happens. When we need something, we ask for something, we want to become better, there's a price to be paid. Whether we want a great body, we want a great relationship, we want a great business, those things don't come without a lot of hard work and adversity. And isn't it strange how when that adversity starts to come, we're the first ones to go, Wait a second, I don't want this, this is not fair, this is not the way it's supposed to be. But that's the way greatness is created. It's through adversity, it's through work, it's through pain, it's through putting in the effort. There would be no great reward if it wasn't for a great effort. And that effort a lot of times comes in the form of adversities. How are diamonds formed, right? You start with a chunk of coal and you put that coal under immense pressure for millions of years, and eventually that coal forms a diamond. There would be no diamonds without any adversity and any pressure. Show me one person with a great body that hasn't gone to the gym, hasn't lifted weights, hasn't put in the time under pressure. Show me a great executive, a great entrepreneur that hasn't spent the time in the trenches, failing, doing things over and over again, where nothing seems to work. The best salesmen, how they create it. You think everything just goes great for them? No, they were a bad salesman at some point, but they just kept going, had adversity, kept going, had more adversity. They just kept going and going and going. SW, 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 SW. If you've ever heard of it, it says some will, some won't, so what, someone's waiting. I've got a little different approach for you. That's just a little added bonus on this one. Same thing, SW, 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 SW. Some will, some won't. But instead of so what, what about so why? Why are they buying? Why aren't they buying? And then really start to examine that. You just might find some interesting nuggets. So my challenge for you is when you pray to the universe, you pray to God and say, Please send me success, send me riches, send me, make me great in a particular area. Know that what's going to come your way is adversity. And through that adversity, that's how you become great. Till next time.